All right, folks, well, for a young man from Randolph, New Jersey, it's safe to say that this is enemy territory here. This is what you call an away game. I got my away fit on. We are at the home of Sir Forrest Galante, nature's finest, to go check out a lot of reptiles and other things. Forrest Galante, here we come. Big Bob coming hot. It's a lot of fucking bugs. Well, this was like the first tangible rediscovery I'd ever made. And by tangible, I mean literally I had the animal in my hands, an animal that the whole world had said been extinct for 114 years and only one other specimen existed. So oh. it's hard to be more fired up than that. What's the, what's the species of tortoise that is? Chilonoidea fantasticus, the Fernandina Island giant tortoise. So are they able to rebreed it? Like, or? Uh, they found signs. So I'm consulting on the project for the return to try and find a male. So we found a female. So if they can find a male, they can breed them. And That's then, amazing. But like once you found it, what do you then, so you obviously, of course you found, what do you then do with it? Well, she went to the Fausto Lorena Breeding Center, which is the same place that Lonesome George, that other very famous tortoise, went. Um, and she's there, very happy, very healthy. She was super underweight, malnourished, stuck in a pocket between lava, so she couldn't, like, get oh, out. So um, she's, she's in much better shape now. And she's the last known living... She's the first known one in 114 years and the only living one that's ever been seen. You must have freaked when you saw it. He did, I saw yeah. it. Yeah, he went ballistic. Yeah, I went nuts. The yeah. tortoise actually did the painting. <laughs> <laughs> I can show you that clip, too. <laughs> a bunch of different species in here. These are Indian spotted turtles. Uh, critically endangered, very rare, very wow. beautiful. This is an Amazon river turtle, Podocnemus unifilis, the yellow spotted Amazon river turtle. Um, but probably the most unique in this tank. That's the long stem. This is a snake neck turtle from Australia. And you can see the, uh, the incredible super long neck. And there's two kinds of turtles. There's Pleurodires and Cryptodires. So one can tuck their heads back straight in like all the North American species. This one can't retract. The rest only curl their heads around like this. So, but I mean, you can see he's got an amazing neck. What the? It's kind of one like this. Oh, oh, no, 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 please, please. No, Forrest, 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 too soon. Too soon, way too soon. No, Forrest, it's too soon. It's too soon. No, 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 it, it's really, Forrest, it's too soon. Forrest, it's way too soon. There's chips and dip out. There's chips and dip out. He's just bringing out snakes and shit. It's gonna be a long day. It's not so cool, small and big. This, this animal, day. this animal I've had for like 16 years and I kept it because when I found her, her tail was missing. So I debrided all of that and cleaned it and treated it with antibiotics. And the whole time I was like scrubbing it and like pulling all this flash, flesh off. She never bit me once. <laughs> it can't hurt. Want to try hold them, Rob? Come on, I can help no, you it, through it. It's, it's, it's like a little I really don't, I, I, you know what? I, Rob, it doesn't even have teeth. Like if I'm on camera, I gotta do it, right? Just, just pick it up. Force, but can you help the process? Yeah, I'll help the process. Sit, sit, <laughs> sit, sit down on the bench here, right here. Sit down anywhere, stop running away. <laughs> sit down in the chair. This is, this is Trust me, trust me here. Hey, Joe, just easy with that thing. I'm not even near you. Yeah, you're flinging it around. <laughs> All right, so check it out. So this is a rosy boa. She's completely harmless. Like literally, they're native. They're the, one of only two native species of boa in North America. Boas are completely constrictors, so the only way she could kill you is if she wrapped up and choked you to death, and she can't do that very easily. So you're, you're very safe. Okay. Okay? So start by touching her tail over here, or what's left of it, her little nubby tail. It's not wet. You know what? It's a dry it's smooth. snake. Yeah, it's a dry snake. <laughs> it's a dry snake. Yeah. Yep. I'm with you, Forrest. All right, so let's do this. So pull, pull your chair in close to the table here. Trust me here. Put your hands down flat on the table. I got this guy wielding that thing like it's a number two <laughs> pencil. You hold that in your hand right there. Close there you your go. hand a little bit. Is he okay? Yeah, she's great. I got the I got the sharp end. Okay, I'll, I'll hang on the back. All right, I'm in there. There you go. <laughs> Not a bad texture here. Yeah, see? Smooth, 
silky. Force my uh, my fedora's blocking it, but I am sweating bullets. I can right actually now. see it. Yeah, yeah I, I can actually I see beads of sweat. Beading. I'm like Shaq at the line right now. <laughs> but look, it's everybody thinks she's squeezing. A little bit, a little bit. That's just how they move. They don't have like, arms or legs, so that's that's how they move. Look at that. All right. You know what? We're doing okay here, yeah, Forrest. Yeah, she likes you. We are picking up some steam here, yeah, Forrest. Yeah, it's okay. Don't okay, panic. Forrest. Don't panic. Forrest. Keep breathing. <laughs> Keep breathing. I promise you she's okay. Ooh, why does she look so pissed off? No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. This is her home. I get that. She's just coming to say hi. She's just... So you're warm, right? It's it's They're cold-blooded animals. You are a mammal. You're nice and warm. She's literally just picking up heat from you right now. And with the amount you're sweating, it's a lot of heat. So she's right. enjoying this. So she's okay with yeah, that? Yeah, she's having a good time. Oh, you're basically she... a heat pad right now. She's having more fun than I am. Definitely. <laughs> This is, this is for the gram right here. Yeah, come on, bro. Yeah, keep that for Yeah. Well, well, we're no, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. Rob, I promise you, bro. I promise you. You're good. You're good. Keep your arms down by your side. Probably lost about a thousand uh, followers. We're right gonna now. take take a deep breath right here. Oh, Rob! Look at this. Look at that. Look at that badass. Bobby constrictors. You Look know, at that. Of I'm not not too bad. Now the only way to one up no, one no. snake around the neck oh, Rob. is to double them up like this. You know, force them. <laughs> Look at that. Now that's an accessory. I'm not in a position to really fight you on this force. <laughs> You're not in any position. <laughs> no, force like one statue. They're not falling. I one's falling. I'm sweating. <laughs> well done. All right. Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. There we go. One under my belt. There you go. All right. Just like that. Oh. Fear, of, fear of snakes oh, diminish. Yeah. Okay. Oh, guys, they, they're reptiles. They're not gonna hurt you. They're. All right, we're about 20 minutes in here at the Galante household. I have held two snakes that I never thought, for God's life, I would hold. Um, we're dialed in. We're off to a good start here. Mr. Galante is leading the way, and uh, here we go. Another day at the office. Reach. A skink? He's pretty mean, so what just heads snake? up. No, no, it's not a snake. It's a skink. Okay, what's it's snake? a lizard. Oh, that Don't bite. is so cool. He's kind of mean, so just heads up. Yeah, he's being chill yeah, now. Yeah, that's not for me. That's a big oh, really wolf. Cool. Well, he's, he's good. No, no, fight? he's fine now. Once you pick him up, he's fine. He just can be a little mean when you amazing. first grab him. I didn't think he was gonna be that big. But he, they're, they're basically dumpsters. They eat everything: fruit, worms, eggs. How and how often will you feed it? Um, he needs to eat like once every two weeks. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not much at all. So he's an Indonesian blue tongue. There's also an Australian variety. The Indonesians are from like wet forests, so you can see this is all pretty damp. In fact, it needs a little more moisture yeah, he's right feisty, now. Huh? Uh, I only got him in January. All our animals are pretty much rescues. Not necessarily the turtles, because them I used to work with. Right. But pretty much all the other animals are rescues. And you can see there's like, you know, there's a bunch of species of turtle in here. In fact, one of the ones on the rock there is one of my favorite species in North America. So this is, let's see if I can get him before he goes. <clears throat> this is a painted turtle. You can see where oh, they get that name yeah, from. Like, look awesome. at those colors. It's just absolutely beautiful. Come here. Gotcha. This is like a scene from Rocky. You know? So they're really, they're really small. They're really cute. Um, they're the smallest species. We have the smallest species of chicken in the world and the largest species of rabbit. So the complete opposite of what you should have, right? You should have a tiny, tiny, cute pet rabbit and uh, and a big chicken for eggs. And we have the opposite. <laughs> So, Force, what was the, the fruit that tasted like a plum? Thing? Mulberry. Oh, that was awesome. Good, right? Yeah. Right up my alley. That's right. Yeah. That's what they feed silkworms, too. You know, silkworms that make silk, they feed the mulberry leaves. Interesting. Some things, but oh, look at the size of that thing, Force. Hey, Reggie. That's a, here's the heavyweight right Come there. Come here, sweetheart. Look at this thing. This just got interesting. Hold on. <laughs> Our geriatric pig over there. The big fella. She's huh? uh, her name's Buttons, and she's a rescue from Hurricane Katrina. Get out. And then yeah, here's the aviator. That I, is I a mess. I haven't let him out yet because I knew you guys were coming, so that we'll let everybody <laughs> out now. And here they come. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. So, the, the, the flap of skin that hangs off its its beak. Waddle. Yeah, what is that for? Um, <laughs> funnily enough, it, it gets longer when it's hot and excited, and it gets shorter when it's not. 
<laughs> I know a little something about that. I mean, it's for a couple different things, but it's definitely part of sexual selection. So females really? will look at that and consider it, you know, good enough or not. I'll take this over the snakes, no <laughs> doubt about it. Little donkey action. So this is donkey. Donkey, um, they typically mate for life, and his mate died about eight years ago. And he looked, he was going really downhill like he was gonna die of a broken heart, which they can do. So we brought him home and put him with Felice up there, and he's been very, very happy ever since. And then Felice has his name Felice, like Felice Navidad, because on Christmas morning, I saw him, he was like waist deep in the mud at an abandoned petting zoo, and I pulled in, and the family that had him, their petting zoo had closed down. And I was like, how much for the horse? And they're like, oh, he's not for sale, he's not for sale. And I was like, well, he's abused, like you gotta let him go. And they're like, $1,000. And I was like, here's 600 bucks, this is what I got. And they're like, okay. Loaded him in the back of the truck and he's been here ever since. <laughs> Saying this is Sylvester Stallone and that's Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sly and Arnie. And um, they, uh, so these are called sulcatas or African spurred tortoises because of these spurs and they use these to flip each other over when they're wow. f fighting. But because these two are brothers and they've lived together their whole lives, they don't seem very interested in fighting. But if we introduced a female, they would absolutely fight. Oh, this is Thor. This made him less of an indoor rabbit. He sheds a lot. But he's very affectionate, as you saw, by him just ramming into my legs at full speed. He actually purrs like a kitty when you scratch him long enough, too. The missing link between fish and amphibians. These are the first fish that crawled onto land and created frogs. Fresh water or something? Fresh. Fresh. Mm hmm It's getting very excited now. See the legs, the weird face, tiny eyes, terrible eyesight, small brains. Very, very old evolutionary. Force, you could not have been more welcoming for us. This has been an experience for me like you wouldn't believe. Just wait till you get a hold of the video. We got me seeing <laughs> the animals and whatnot. Cold cuts, thanks for being aboard, but this was awesome. You're, you're, you're fascinating. You thanks, really guys. Well, I enjoyed having you, so thank you so much. Thanks for making the trip, boys. Yeah, thank you so much.